welcome to the channel and these are some of the top stories making headlines today now if you agree and you want to see justice for Donnelly Donaldson and you want to know so the state is willing and prepared to go after criminals whether or not they are members of the state itself drop a like on the video and also drop a comment in the comment section now the force has finally stepped forward to give the public bits and pieces of what is taking place within the investigation and finally Dana Lee's mother, Miss Log, can know that the entire country is outraged at the situation and wants she and her family to receive justice. May I continue from the force and then continue the reasoning? Look and listen. All right, uh, Ricardo Brooks is asking Have you questioned Miss Donaldson's boyfriend and his baby mother? If so, when did this happen? Yeah, I think in my deliberation, I indicated that he was interviewed and a statement recorded. Um, Ms. Donaldson um, was approached, Ms. Ms. Symmetra, yeah, the, 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 the district constable was approached. And um, she has refused, actually, to give a statement. But we will deal with that at the appropriate time. It's an investigation that is ongoing, and there are methods that we, we, we can deploy or we can employ to, to um, deal with that issue. As a citizen, you have a right and a statement is a voluntary, um, it's, it's voluntary, but we are still doing our investigation. Ricardo Brooks is asking finally, have you obtained phone records for the three individuals? I will not go into all the details of the investigation. It's an investigation, it's a criminal investigation that we are conducting. A missing person which might end up into a criminal investigation. So we have to be guarded in terms of the type of information that we give to the public. Be mindful that if there are accused, they are also listening and observing. That is all the time. I'm not seeing any further questions from the journalists on the platform. So, okay, I'm going to allow one more. Anthony Harris, again, whilst we want to give as much information to the public, we cannot do an investigation in the open. We have to be mindful that as an investigator, we are here to serve the interests of justice. And so we cannot disclose everything. No nation, it seems as if the blatant disrespect of the law itself has now forced the force to take a more deeper look into one of the main suspects within this case itself. They have gone as far to say that they have special methods that they can employ in these specific types of situation or situations rather so if you pay close attention to what going on i mean let's see what will take place of course you understand when, when the force states that the investigation cannot be conducted in the open because as they said the main suspects are listening that was also something very deep within itself as it is also being alleged that maybe other officers participated as well so when them say them can't really talk about every step of them i make in the open we understand but just that the people want justice and want to know say yes they are taking the matter serious no one tell other stories making headlines today no nation also happening today and first and foremost condolences to the family as four families are now grieving now the official and first report was that four men went missing from Denham town and that the military along with the police launched a search now it has been reported that a gruesome discovery was indeed made in Tivoli and four bodies were discovered bodies were discovered dismembered no matter the opportunity to tell the people the senseless crime and violence that was there take place upon the island need for stop 
people you know how far ahead the country would have be if it never get walled back with crime, violence, and corruption. Maybe at this point, we would have considered Jamaica as a first world country. Just think about Jamaica without the excessive crime, violence, and corruption. If despite all of that, we can be one of the most beloved country out of the Caribbean, and also one of the wealthiest too, I will point that out, countries out of the Caribbean, just imagine if we never have the crime, the violence, and the corruption or we'll see a take place. The people need to know say they want a better Jamaica going forward. We have to tackle this issue of crime and violence. The people need to stop feel like violence are the only resort, the only way to settle disputes. Look on a community like West Kingston, Tivoli and Denham Town. Two communities who at one point people that consider them as one community. Some people have Grown up in an age where these two communities have been feuding for years now. But there was once a time when these two communities would be considered as one community. We don't know how we're going. For some reason, despite growing up together, some individuals even attending the same high school, same primary school, you name it. Go to the same dance, them shop at the same place, hang out on the same corners. Them couldn't find no way to settle them disagreements without the violence. And one of the next major issues that we see that take place on the island is reprisals. So one community do something, the next community do a reprisal attack and it becomes endless. And with nobody for mediate and nobody for say, oh, we have to find a different way to settle the differences that we will have. It becomes an endless cycle, bloodshed. Talk to me. Tell me I feel like in this day and age, I'm mean, not just talk Jamaica. But we are talking about right across the world. Why in this day and age people feel like violence should be the first resort when they are settled disputes? Because with that mindset, you know, the minds of the people, people are jump off and are get violent for some simple, simple situations. Talk to me. No one to the other situations making a news rather, making headlines today. Now, Nisha, I know what really take place. The force definitely have some bad apples for weed out. Now, the police themselves have confirmed that the third cop was being sought for the slain of Philip Wallace on Reddings Road has indeed fled the island and that local investigators are now working with international partners to locate the policeman and have him returned to the island so that he can stand trial. Now, major tabloids reported that two policemen attached to Kansas Spring Police Station have been arrested on suspicion of taking the life of Wallace. And that the whereabouts of the third were unknown. It was being speculated that he had left the island. Now they have indeed confirmed that travel documents have proven that he indeed left to one of the airports. And it is also said that these officers were on the radar of the police after Wallace himself reported them to the same station that they worked at. Now, we up the hardworking members of law enforcement who are still willing to follow up leads despite if the persons suspected of these crimes are members of law enforcement themselves. And remember, a major trial is set for this year, of which an organized crime organization is said to have been led by a member of the force. What is good to see is that the people have stated that corruption exists in high places and within the force. It is good to see that the force, being aware of that, is actually doing something about it. And things of this nature is what is probably needed to rebuild that trust within the security forces. At the end of the day, they are hard-working members within law enforcement. And truth be told, majority of the members of law enforcement are from either inner city communities our rural communities within Jamaica. Now on to the other stories making headlines today. No nation, this gives new definition to the term nowhere being safe. Miggle Street, busy street, with traffic there, and a live shootout took place in Montego Bay, St. James. It's almost like the parish is stuck in an episode of Law and Order, Criminal Intent. And in the first time, we are see a live shootout 
in the town of Montego Bay St. James. But the very fact that these occurrences are becoming the norm should be alarming for even the people who reside there. Now as it pertains to what led to the shootout. All information is sketchy. All we can say is that one of the individuals was shot and injured. And police did indeed arrive on the scene to make sense of the situation. Of course, CCTV cameras, state cameras, and of course, private cameras to business places. The whole of that did it. Now, my God, also say this. It's one thing when these criminals have no regard for their own life, for their own safety. But when they're going to bring these things onto busy roadways, now, please, wait. remember, the matter they tell you what tourism is to the country's economy. Most of the things that is on the busy streets. This is a show is a crime and violence are all back the country. And the perpetrators of these violent acts. As I was saying, we already state that the majority of these shooting incidents that we say take place over some senseless violence. will take place previously. In some different different districts and different communities, and it become an ongoing reprisal thing. All we can say is, security forces have issues they need to deal with too, within the force itself, but are only together with a combined effort of the people and the security forces. We're gonna see crime and violence reduced to a certain level, because while shooting incidents are up in certain places, there are places that, based on the statistics being shown now. Shooting incidents are down there. Certain violent crimes are down. It can be done. Talk to me in the comment section. Now, until the reason again, my sentiments for you and yours, of course, for the live, love, and prosper. For the stay tuned.